If you want to support the channel, be sure to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications. Thank you. What's up guys, Tricks Ridiculous back with another Midnight Suns video. And in this one, I wanted to show you my Hunter build, which I've been tweaking around quite a bit. And I think it's one of the best ways, if not the best way to play the Hunter. Before we jump into this, be sure to like and subscribe if you want more Midnight Suns content, but otherwise let's jump right in. So you're looking at the deck right here and I'm gonna go through every one uh, of these cards, card by card. Now this is a power slash light hunter. So it's not necessarily one way or the other. If it's towards any one way, I'll say it's the power hunter. Um, so you'll see here the hunter is really good at kind of being a support character. The hunter has a lot of free cards that can be played in their deck uh, that can support other heroes and really get everybody involved in the battle. But at the same time, the hunter themselves can actually dish out quite a bit of damage and be quite a crowd control beast as well. So it really depends how you want to play him. But the way I have him set up here is, you know, can pretty much be slotted into any hero setup. You can just throw this hunter in with any really any combination of heroes and not only are they going to thrive but they're going to very much support the other heroes on the team as well so jumping right into it so we've got quick slash we've got two quick slashes these are the only two attack cards we're going to be playing and quick slash is very very good it's the best of the hunters you know quick abilities um it's got both base damage and knockback uh, which you don't get with every every uh, every hero's quick attack, right? Some heroes have, you know, draw a card when killed, uh, but then they don't knock back. Uh, some heroes, like maybe Spider-Man or Magic, just have knock back and quick, but you have to actually um, knock the enemy into something. Otherwise, you're not going to get the actual kill. Uh, but the Hunter is a perfect, nice balance with the quick slash, uh, where you actually get the damage. Even if you don't knock them back into something, you will still kill a minion with it. Uh, and then you can actually uh, knock them into something, you know, if you're able to, to get a little more damage or knock an enemy into a minion, whatever you need to do. It gives you a lot of options having that base damage and the knockback. So we're going to be running two of those. Uh, I'm using two different ones here for the optionality, and you'll see why this matters. Uh, so you'll see on KO plus two heroism. And then I've also got on KO draw two cards. Now you may be looking at those and think maybe... You know, maybe maybe you think the draw two is better. Maybe you think the plus two heroism is better. They're both good, and it's you know, there's not necessarily a best in slot for this. They're, these are probably the two best mods you could get on this. You could do some other stuff like uh, on KO concealed, on KO strengthened. We don't really need that stuff for this build, but those are certainly options as well. But the reason I've got kind of these two different options is because you'll see in just a sec all these different skills that I'm running all have the mod of draw the last attack played all right so it's going to be very easy for us to play a quick slash get it back with a free card play it again get it back with a free card etc etc and keep to kind of keep that loop going now the re so that's kind of why i'm running two different mods here if i need you know a big boost in heroism i can do that i can you know hit, kill kill an ad get the heroism redraw that uh you know, this particular quick slash, you know, because it's always the last one you played, and then get that plus two heroism again and keep doing that, right? Or if I really need to refill my hand, I could do the opposite. I could use this quick slash, redraw it, use it again, redraw it, use it again. So it gives you the option. You don't have to have just one or the other. Uh, we're using call to arms, just one call to arms, double all heroism gains for one turn free. Very, very good card. Again, helps support, especially works really well with the plus two heroism here. This turns into six heroism, uh, you know, for just one quick attack, which is very good. And of course, you know, if you did already play it uh, as your most recent attack, the call to arms will actually get it back for you and let you keep it going. Uh, even with something like just a reg, the, you know, the other quick slash, um, or even just, you know, some of these other cards or other cards that other heroes run, um, call to arms is very good. I mean, turns, turns your uh, heroism gains up substantially. Obviously, it does only work for one turn, uh, being the free version, uh, but that's totally fine. I mean, it just gives you a big burst of heroism to kind of do some of your other moves here. Uh, now, we're using two Inspires. Uh, Inspire, in my opinion, is one of the best, if not the best, card in the game. 
you never gonna not want inspires they're so good they just change the cost of a random heroic card in your hand to zero they are free um, and again for me i've got them both modded to draw the last attack plate so that's going to get me back either my quick slashes uh or again keep in mind with all of this you know if you have another hero on your uh team at the time maybe it's something like uh an iron man or a captain america or just another hero that you want to start you want to pile up on their attacks you know, these hunter skills can draw their quick attacks back too, right? So if you want to keep drawing Iron Man's Quick Blast to just load your hand up with Iron Man cards uh, or something like that, you can definitely just go like Iron Man card Inspire, Iron Man card Wrath, etc. right? You can kind of keep going through that. Uh, and then we're using one Wrath, right? So Wrath gives all your hunter cards in your hand critical and all hunter cards you draw for the next two turns critical. And it is a free card. And again, we have it for draw the last attack card played. Absolutely fantastic card. Uh, I would probably almost never not run this card in a hunter deck um i was kind of on the fence using two or one um and to me i think one is probably fine you can if you if you wanted to use two of these and cut the the call to arms i wouldn't argue with you uh, but i think one is okay because it does last for two additional turns after this um and you know the the only other thing about it is it is a power card as well whereas call to arms is actually a light card um, so that does matter a little bit in the, our passives coming up in just a second. Um, then I've got one Bladestorm. Bladestorm, very fantastic card. Um, you definitely want to make sure when you're using your Bladestorm that, you know, one, you're getting as many kills as you can. Uh, this sounds obvious, but you want to make sure you're kind of positioning it where you can, you know, hit some of these enemies into your other heroes. And you probably do that already, uh, but it'll really maximize the amount of cards you draw uh, when you actually start killing things with this Bladestorm. And especially if you've played a Wrath, you know, in the last two turns from it, you're going to get this Blade Storm up to crit. It's going to be doing a ton of damage. Um, and you can see here, I've got it modded for extra damage. I think that's probably one of the best mods you can get on it. Um, it's a pretty straightforward ability. You don't, you don't want to like apply marked or apply anything with it. Hopefully everything you hit with this is dying. And ideally, if you're pairing it with a, you know, you're pairing the Hunter with a different character, maybe like an Iron Man or a Wanda, um, or even like a Doctor Strange who can apply marked, uh, two enemies, right? And then you can use Blade Storm. And as long as one of the enemies that you kill, even if you hit five enemies, as long as one of them was marked, you're going to get that card play back. So Blade Storm, really, really good. One of the better AOE attacks in the game. So that's why it's in the deck. And then we're using Patience. Now, Patience is a very high cost card, as you'll see, obviously costs six, uh, but it does an absolute buttload of damage as part of that, right? Um, and while in your hand, reduce the cost of this card by one each turn. We don't really care about that. That's not super necessary for us. Um, it does have exhaust, so you can only use it once, but it has quick. And that's a mod we've got on it. I would strongly recommend you try to mod this for quick. Uh, if you actually cut the Blade Storm and had two Patiences that both had quick on them, I would call that another really solid way to play the Hunter as well. Um, this is basically your assassination card. This is the card that you're going to use to just pick off that one target, right? To pick off that one elite, you know, high health bar enemy or even, you know, invading, uh, you know, corrupted villain. Uh, to just absolutely slay them and again keep in mind with wrath you can turn this into a crit you know i, I have this usually critting for over 2000 2000 and change close to 3000 if you can get strength and then even combo with you know dr strange and some of his attack buffs uh in that sense so very very good strongly recommend quick as the mod um, and keep in mind, you know, with the six heroism, it sounds like a lot, but especially with two inspires um, and call to arms, we're going to get up to six heroism pretty quick, and it'll be worth it to be able to take down those high health bar targets. Um, so you can kind of see where, you know, with the click, quick slash and drawing the additional cards, if you really want to, you can really go crazy with the hunter and kind of take over the whole battle for yourself. But at the same time, it does also support other heroes, right? Because you're playing your inspire, you're drawing cards, you're generating a lot of heroism which you can then turn that into your other you know teammates cards as well all right now on to the passives now it's very important with this build that we're using the balanced collar all right so the balanced collar draws you two hunter cards but you have to play three power cards in combat to use it all right now what do we have for power cards we have quick slash two of them we've got wrath 
Blade Storm and Patience. These are all power cards, right? So the only things that are not power cards are our two Inspires and our Call to Arms. These are light cards. Um, however, all three of these draw the last attack played, which is Quick Slash, which is a power card. Um, so it's very easy to play multiple power cards in this deck and then be able to over and over again, draw two Hunter cards, which will then in turn ideally, you know, be free right? Most of our cards, half of our deck in the Hunter deck is free, um, or just more quick cards and more power cards to get this going on and on. And then to pair with that, we're using Master of the Hunt. Now this reduces all Hunter College thresholds by one and makes the Hunter immune to all negative status effects. This is huge. So this makes it so that instead of playing three power cards, we only have to play two power cards to draw three new Hunter cards, right? So you can really just keep going and keep going with this with the Hunter. Uh, and the additional effect immune to all negative status effects, that's huge as well, right? Um, this doesn't quite work on everything. The Hunter can still get status effects from supervillain type enemies um, in the same sense that you can't resist supervillains if a supervillain, you know, bleeds you or corrupts you or confuses you in a case like Wanda, the Hunter can still catch those, um, but you're not going to catch like wounded, you're not going to catch um you know corrupted from just ran random enemies or bleed or any of those types of things from those those blood hunters um so all you know working really good to me this is one of the best ways to play hunter obviously of all the characters in this game hunter can be played the most possible ways uh, but i think this is the best support hunter and you know why I say that's the best way is because it can most easily be slotted into other decks. Uh, there are other, like I said, other ways to play Hunter, maybe even like a Power Hunter, that uh, can probably do a little more damage than this Hunter, although probably not much more. Um, but those are kind of, in that sense, the Hunter kind of has to be the star of the show in your team composition, right? But this, this the way I have it now, this can really be slotted into any uh, team composition and will if you want to you can have it really take over or you could have it support your other uh, Heroes, so that's really all I wanted to show you. It's pretty straightforward um, I'm gonna leave you with some ultimate three gameplay just so you can see this hunter in action um, I'll, Again, I'll try to use the hunter as much as I can in that gameplay uh, But that's pretty much it. Let me know how you're playing hunter down in the comments Be sure to like and subscribe for more Midnight Suns content. That's it for me everybody and I'll see you in the next one Let me show you the way. A gift from the ancient traditions. Once again. Impressive. Every fight, my power grows. Watch and learn, my friends. Apparently, our rep. 
reputation isn't enough to scare off these so-called children of Lilith. This will have to do. I will make you regret that. A moment of preparation. Now oh, that was something. We've done it. Excellent work. Hydra wants a straight-up fight, then I say give them everything you've got. We are heading in. Watch and learn, my friends. I saw a move like that once, centuries ago. Welcome assistance. Watch this. Wonder what the desertion rate is for Hydra lackeys. Make that look almost too easy. One more time. Prepare yourself. like it hurt we will erase the very memory of them now that's a crossover
power of the light. This shall be of great help. Just what this battle requires. They do not stand a chance. Tell them who sent me. I doubt they'll take that beating to heart, but we can always hope. 